Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Um, please hit the subscribe button. And to all of my um, returning um, subscribers, please hit the like button. All right, so today's video is just a real quick one to show you how I store my Tim Holtz um, oxide inks, um, the larger ones, not the small ones. Those I just kind of toss over into a different section but so I just want to real quick show you because I did buy um, some new the ink blending pads I got these at Hobby Lobby and then I also bought two new colors this weekend so I bought the twisted citron and the seedless preserves I'm trying to collect a lot of the colors um, I use my label maker and then I use some of these velcro um, dots from the Dollar Tree and I store them in this old tiny wooden box that I have just because the, the size is pretty good. And then I just stack them on top of each other. So it's real easy, guys. All I do is I put on my label maker, right? How, um, how do we get rid of? And I only had six before. I thought I had more, but that's all right. Okay, so this one that I just got is called Twisted citron it's a very nice green and then we print and i've had this label maker for a long time i would like to get another one like a fancier one that prints in different colors and that kind of thing but for right now this works for me okay and then we're going to go ahead and do the other label too um seedless preserves and the only reason i do this is because the way they are stacked i can't see what um color what the colors are so this way I can um, you know if I know the name of the color that I want I can just go ahead and pull it out and we're just going to do one other thing now I have this size so we don't need the label maker anymore and I usually cut off the ends because it just gives me too much um, unneeded space there um, so I did buy the, um, foam pads, the foam discs, because I find that my blending goes better with these opposed to using, um, these. And I have a bunch of these, but I mean, they break on me. The, the color doesn't go, you know, it just doesn't flow. It gets very spotty and, and that. So I find that using these work well and you use it with one of these. Um, this I got off Amazon. This is a Spectrum Noir. I thought I had more than one of the discs, I um, of the uh, handles. So I'll probably try and pick up a few more of these. And then the discs are fairly cheap. They're five bucks. Um, I'm sure they last a long time. I haven't been doing this a long time, but the ones that I have previously purchased are still perfect. Um, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to take our label right do, do, do. we're going to take our label and we are going to just put it on the side here and this will be the side that is showing now i used to um, store all my inks upside down because that's what i had heard to do and i did see some videos and some product reviews where it says you do not need to store these um, tim holtz ones upside down so I'm not doing that, and I hope. I don't know, I feel weird about not storing them upside down. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and put the labels on. Okay, whoops, we don't wanna keep it neat. All right, so now the label is on, and then what I do is I just kind of open up the color. Look how pretty. And then I usually take my pinky, just to get a little bit of the color, and then <laughs> well, not usually so messy. And then I just do a little swab on the white so that you can see what the color looks like. So now we're going to go with this cool green. And we're not going to use the pinky because we'll use the other pinky. How's that? And then there's that. Okay. So now we can see by looking here, because we can't see the tops, we can see the name and what the color looks like. And then the last part is we just take the bottom half of the um these are from the dollar tree um where is i can't 
like they've, like all my scissors, none of them are down here. That's crazy. Um, cause normally what I do is I cut this in half. So you take the rough part and we're going to, we're going to cut it in half with these big scissors. I hate having to use these. Okay. And you could use a whole one, but why waste a whole one? And then we're just going to stick it to the bottom on both. Okay. And then you take your little foam disky. like that and it sticks right to the velcro right and then every time you're done using it you can just pop it on so you can see I actually don't even have it on the bottom of all of these because I didn't have enough but so on the squeeze lemonade on the bottom there it is so I have it on the other ones um, and then here the speckled the speckled egg on the bottom there it is so and they do tend to come off on the top. So I guess I had the yellow on top of that one, but I think that's okay, right guys? And then they don't kind of stack up as nice once the little discs are on there, but that is also okay because we are just trying to keep things organized around here. And that's it. That's how I store my Tim Holtz oxides. Have a great day.